don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's been an influx of Concord shilling and promotion. It's everywhere on Twitter now. Like literally the PlayStation Twitter account is trying to hype up Concord as a game to play. And there's all sorts of media outlets that are trying to shill for this. In fact, I saw one that was saying that it's a bad trend now that people dance over bad games or something of that nature. Like, are we not allowed to be critical of things that we don't like? Are we not allowed to say that Concord is a massive failure? This game came out, <laughs> PlayStation spent tons of money on it to make it an exclusive killer app, and it's immensely failed. They didn't even get a thousand players playing this game. In fact, they've lost a lot of their user base since launch. There's an article going on right now on Park Place talking about them losing over 60% of its player base already, which was already a low number. And on top of that, there's supposedly an eight-minute queue and some wait time of all sorts of nonsense on top of this. Talk about a fumble. This game was an utter fumble, guys. Literally the same week that Black Myth Wukong came out, both Concord and Dustborn, which I like to call Dustben, and also Star Wars Outlaws all came out to a crash and burn like this should tell you what gamers want to play but no no these people are adamant about their dei they're adamant about injecting their woke ideologies and their politics into the games and it's just causing a failure so you can see they firewalk studios concord died right out of the gate and the game's corpse is quickly being buried as one player reported he had an eight minute wait time on monday the 26th so this game went live on Friday, August 23rd, and it only hit a peak concurrent player count of 697, which is a 70% decline from the game's open beta back in July, which hit 2,388. So this game has diminished since July with the open beta, where it was free for people to play. And then the early access was even like half of that. Here's the current amount right now. There's not even 200 players playing on steam at this moment actively as of this recording in the last 24 hours there's 241 people and still the all-time peak was 697 what a colossal failure absolute garbage absolute trash on their behalf and these people still are going to double down in fact like i said you're seeing a lot of companies shill for them the PlayStation account shilling for them. They have to get their money back. But newsflash, bucko, that ain't happening. This game is dead on arrival. This game's going to fail. The only thing that they need to do at this point is go free-to-play. If they went free-to-play, I believe that might at very least get this game to a Season 2. But even if we think beyond that, I, I don't see a Season 2 happening on this, guys. This is a live service game that's similar to stuff like Overwatch, which has been around for years. And it's free. Think of all the free-to-play games that have come out that are better than this, that aren't as woke. I mean, Overwatch is kind of woke, but still, <laughs> this game has ugly characters, ugly, gross-looking, fat, fupa-ridden characters <laughs> that it's been promoting that literally looks like there's nothing good about this game. So... Another thing that's popped up is apparently they removed the tags from the LGBTQ plus uh, and political tags from the game on Steam. I haven't gotten to address this. This is a few days old. But yeah, apparently these were added by both devs, users, <laughs> but the top five tags that appear are sorted based on developer control. So they used to display the LGBTQ tags proudly. Like, oh, this is LB LGBTQ plus. Uh, game, but now they're essentially removed, at least according to Grums. There's some posts on Steam, I guess, talking about how it's been removed and blacklisted, and I don't know. <laughs> if that doesn't tell me anything, the fact that the tags were there means that there was a absolutely clear political agenda, and uh, now that they removed it, they're trying to damage control. They're, they basically removed it so people would be encouraged to play this game because they know woke ideologies and politics are failing at this time. I mean, this was a hell of a month for 2024. Like I mentioned, Dustborn failed, Concord failed, Star Wars Outlaws a mess, 
Speaking of Star Wars, The Acolyte got canceled. There's no season two for that. Alyssa Mercante is threatening to sue Kiwi Farms. Like, I, I think the world is healing at this point, ladies and gentlemen. And it you love to see wokeness and DEI get rejected. Like this comment says, rejecting LGBTQ plus tag is a small step towards better profit for future games. And again, look at Wukong. Wukong became the second most played game in Steam and the single most single player game on Steam. Concord stood no chance. And it came out at, at the wrong time with the wrong genre. And, and it proves time and time again, guys, that if you go woke, you go broke. This game didn't attract me at all. I, I was lightly curious for the open beta, but I'm going to be honest. I don't like this type of Overwatch-style type of game. And then when you've seen all the other nonsense that's been attached to this, a lot of the baggage with the professor at Firewalk Studios. Yeah, they had somebody in charge at Firewalk Studios that was referring to themselves as the professor. And they had a toxic work environment, supposedly, that was focused on pronouns and outing anybody that wasn't going with the woke narrative. They literally had cancel culture at the workplace. And I can't honestly support a company like Firewalk Studios if what they're wanting to promote is just garbage, essentially. So in a strange way, it's karma that this game is failing. And it's delicious. You love to see it. I, maybe I'm just a spiteful, vengeful, right-wing grifter. But no, honestly, what it is is that uh, I, I don't want this bullshit placed inside my video games. And apparently a lot of other people don't either, which is why... This game is continuing to fail more and more every day. I don't think it's going to last past a fucking second season, if if it even reaches that. So again, the tags are removed, and it's getting eaten up on Twitter. If you want to take a look, Johan right here says, Wukong versus Concord. Concord, eight years to develop, 100 million plus budget spent, 700 copies sold, everybody hates it. Wukong, four years to develop. Made by 30 people. They were all childhood friends or met in university. 15 million copies sold. 700 million in revenue. Loved by most people. What the fuck happened? What can we learn from this? And exactly what I'm saying, what we can learn is that making video games great again is what's important. Video games are supposed to be fun. Video games are supposed to be an escape from reality. We don't have to fucking feel like we have to have some kind of like political commentary that we relate with. I don't need to relate with characters. I don't need pronouns in my games. I need a fun story with good characters that can tell a great story. I don't have to be a narcissist or a retard and sit here like, oh, the character I don't relate to. I don't relate to the character. This isn't diverse enough. Like, get out of here, right? And Twitter's just been eating it up. You can see Concord might have the ugliest character designs I've ever seen. And just look at some of these, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And they have pronouns for a fucking robot in this game. And they expected this game to sell like hotcakes and for people to receive it. I, I, I don't understand what they were thinking. Look at this. This is the infamous Fupa. The infamous Fupa character. Actually, there's two of them, I think. There's this one, and then there's the one that wears the blue shirt. But look at this. Who wants to play as a big, fat, black thing? You can't even tell if this is a male or female. Look at the blue lipstick, the resting bitch face. Just looks overall ugly. Oh, here's the Fupa Troopa. So this is the character that has a Fupa. I was watching Melanie Max video, and they're talking about the Fupa, where it makes it hard to tell if it's a male or a female. <laughs> but that's the point, is they don't want us to see male female they want things to be gender neutral they want to be androgynous so that it doesn't offend this modern audience which i don't know who this modern audience is i say it time and time again this modern audience doesn't show up for video games guys they don't show up to finance anything they don't show up to pay for anything anytime a movie or a television show or a video game is woke and it's created for a modern audience they're nowhere to be found Where's this modern audience at? That's why Concord's failing. If these activists that are so loud on social media that retweet and hit like on posts, there's literally likes supporting um, Concord on posts that are more than the all-time peak has been. Like, there's literally posts on social media with thousands of likes and retweets supporting Concord. Why the fuck aren't those people playing this game? I don't get it. I do not get it. Do they not like the blue Fupa character? Do they not like this ugly wannabe fucking, uh, 
What's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? This looks like if he had Down syndrome, <laughs> right? These guys don't show up. So check this out. I mentioned this the other day. This was one of the Concord devs responding to feedback. Somebody, uh, he was somebody was basically saying they feel sorry for him that this is his first quadruple A game and uh, gave him actual constructive criticism. And they hid their tweet saying, "Pay me eight dollars to unhide your tweet." To all of them saying, "Hey, pay me eight to unhide your reply." Unhide your reply. So basically, sticking the the ear, you know, the fingers in the ear, saying, "Oh, I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I don't want to hear what you have to say." Um, these people were upset. They were crying. They went protected tweets. I covered this the other day. This person just went unhinged and had old tweets surface up that they hate white men, basically, as well. And you can see this person says, I don't get it. Factions 2 was canceled. Spider-Man multiplayer gets canceled. Twisted Metal gets canceled. Are you really telling me that PlayStation and Bungie saw Concord and genuinely thought it would be better to release that project? That's what I don't get. And you got a lot of these PlayStation, Sony pointy saying that Xbox is dead, that Xbox is going the way of third party and that they're messing up and screwing up. Like, why is nobody acknowledging that PlayStation literally had a fumble of a lifetime with Concord? This is a big time L that they're taking when they could have had all these games that they mentioned, Twisted Metal, Spider-Man Multiplier, Factions 2. No, let's let's choose Concord. Let's choose a game that nobody fucking wants and promote it to the moon and shill for it on social media after the fact that it's failed. Yeah, they're literally trying to convince you guys on Twitter ads to play this fucking game still. And, uh... There's a shilling right here. The spin machine that this person says. I had no dog in this race, but the spin machine on Concord is on full blast. And you can see this person saying, Concord selling better on PS5 than Steam. The game is 511 on Steam's top list sellers list, but 42 on the PlayStation store. Yeah, nice spin, right? I bet they're getting trashed. Tebow, shout outs to Minimal Effort Podcast says, laughing my ass off. That's some massive cope. You can see number 42, that's bad for a first-party PlayStation game in its launch weekend. Exactly. It debuted at 42 in its launch weekend. Uh, that is not a good spin. It's first week out and could not crack the top 25. Look at what's number 40 to understand how low this is. Damn, so combined 2K players max. I just checked. It's on 85 in the PS Store. Post the player numbers. Oh, wait, they're not public. I wonder why. This isn't a flex. So they're getting eaten the fuck alive on this dude <laughs> for shilling that now real quick i did see um this ps5 top 40 black myth wukong obliterates concord with unreal debut and uh yeah so basically they came in and this is hilarious this is hilarious it says uh black myth wukong destroys concord with 183 percent more players <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is hilarious. They said uh, Black Math Wukong's massive success couldn't be better highlighted by the lack of any Concord on this list. In fact, Black Myth Wukong has debuted with 182.97 more percent players than Concord from our representative sample. With no one collecting Concord trophies on PSN, Firewalk's first PS5 game is in 147th place in our popularity chart. <laughs> even and then look this person says they're a supporter of it even as a bit of a concord defender i can't help but chuckle a little bit about the result and the message that must that this must send to sony players want innovative interesting and beautiful triple a single player games it will not tolerate new live service games seemingly forced into a busy market if it doesn't offer anything new black myth wukong may have beaten sony at its own game holy crap and that's a nice way of putting it so again Concord, dead on arrival. And it's dead and buried. This studio, Firewalk Studios, is probably going to go the way of the Dodo soon. They're probably going to shut down operations. And the spin that they're trying to push on it and the fact that the player base is dropping to this immense low is ridiculous. <laughs> it's absurd. And, you know, I'm having a guilty pleasure about it. Am I spiteful right-wing grifter? Perhaps, perhaps. But... Yeah, going in, we knew this game was going to be an absolute trash, like, dumpster fire. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.